now we start to use our strap. I use the OPTP Stretch Out Strap XL, the XL being the seven foot version. I think it's really important to get that. It's available on Amazon Prime, so it's really easy to get shipped anywhere. Or you can buy it from OPTP.com directly. What I do is I'm, I'm hanging this off a of Pilates Cadillac right now, uh, but what you can do is you can tie, you can just tie a knot in the end of it and you can shut that in the door overhead. Just make sure that the door is swinging towards you as it shuts so that it'll, you won't pull on it and the door will come undone and you'll go falling backwards. None of that, okay? So we're gonna have the strap up to the high diagonal. This is just to basically mimic a, a tree, right? So that we can use this. You can use this anywhere, in an apartment, in a hotel, take this with you on the road, everywhere, roll it up into a little ball and you'll always have something to be able to work in this introversion, okay? So we're gonna have that mermaid set up, uh, seated before, if you refer to the mermaid in three levels video of the floor work, uh, for the front body sacrum spiral. We have the feet, again, wider than shoulder width, approximately a 90 degree bend in each knee. I'm gonna climb up to that high diagonal, sort of that high 45, and what I want us to work on now is I soften my butt, I scoop in the pelvic floor, I roll back in the pelvis as I curl the sternum in. And you'll notice how my shoulders swing up and wide while my sternum drops through. So I'm getting that double introversion to find flexion, to find this hoop. I'm elevating, laterally rotating, protracting in the shoulders to have that balanced arc in my back body. So within the context of this balanced arc with wide elbows, I'm just going to have my knees will fall to the left while I keep a tuck of my tail. It brings me onto that left greater trochanter. I keep that tuck as my arms come long, curling the sternum, never, never sticking the butt out and lifting the sternum tucking the tail under, curling the sternum, lengthening up and away in the arms. And you'll see how I get this sort of long crescent shape in my whole body here. I hang back away from the anchor point in the strap with soft wide elbows, going back into my full introversion. The knees fall to the other direction. I keep my tail tucked under as my sternum stays curled in. Both hands come up long and away. I reach the hands up long and away. As I tuck my tail, I curl my sternum in opposition. Inhaling into the stretch and exhaling as I come back, curling my sternum in, elbows soft and wide. You'll notice how the feet start to slide forward a little bit because this is a locomotive exercise, keeping that tail tucked. As we inhale into the stretch, tuck the tail, curl the sternum, lengthen up and away with the arms. As you go around the spiral staircase, Exhaling, we come back through center. The feet sort of, they're, they're very lightly weighted on the ground so that they're allowed to float away a little bit. Keeping my tail tucked as the knees fall. Tucking that tail under, curling the sternum, reaching the hands up in opposition. Don't let the chest and butt stick out. Tuck it under, curl the chest in, lengthen up and away with the arms. Inhale into this stretch and exhale as we bring it back home. Then we'll go to the one arm version. You're gonna take left hand on, right soft fingertips. I say sort of bear paw usually in sessions. We're just hanging down into that introversion, curling sternum, keeping my tail tucked. As I come onto that left greater trochanter, deep tuck the tail, curl the sternum, lengthen up and away with the arms, round the spiral staircase. Inhale into the stretch and exhale, hanging back away from the strap. Let it take your body weight. We switch hands, right hand, left bare paw comes on sternum, curl that sternum in, tuck the tail under. Inhale, up and away with the arms as we tuck the tail in opposition, soften that sternum, breathe into this whole back and side body stretch and exhaling as we come home. We'll do one more set, left hand takes it, right bare paw, tuck the tail, soften the chest, lengthen up and away with the arm and exhaling as we come back in through. Last time, right hand takes the strap, soft sternum. Keep that tuck of the tail as I come on to right greater trochanter. Curl, 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 inhale. And exhaling. 
as we come back home. And that is the mermaid stretch with strap. So it becomes, a, I call it a back body sternum stretch because now we're focusing on our secondary keystone, not our primary, primary being the sacrum, secondary keystone being the sternum. This helps us to practice the introversion, that double internal rotation, elevation, protraction, lateral rotation of the shoulder girdle.